Hello and welcome to another episode of the up and down the standings, the Vancouver Canucks uh, getting back at it, back to back in the great, really great um, after their six, over 16 players, uh, confirmed with COVID, family members, and just a disaster that's really for um, Vancouver Canucks, but uh, they are finally back in action playing and beating the first place throughout the Maple Leafs last night. Um, it's classic Leafs, it seems like, man, to be losing a game like that, uh, but they absolutely should have won. They were, I think they were, they were the second heaviest favorite um, going into the game all season last night, um, the Leafs, and they lose in overtime with the Bo Horvat um, overtime goal um, to Vancouver. So, we can have the standings. Um, the West Division has got very interesting as uh, last week when we went over it, the Avalanche had a pretty comfortable lead. I think it was a seven point lead with the game in hand. They are now tied with the Vegas Golden Knights, who are 17 1 and in their last 10 with a six game winning streak. Um, the Knights are. Uh, 64 points, but of course, Colorado is just so dominant. Has so many skilled players on the top roster. Colorado is having a 9 1 in their last game. They are a 4 game streak, so really, that's a bit of two team race out um, there in the West Division. And Minnesota, um, 57 points. Minnesota looks great. Um, they've exceeded expectations here. They were expected to fight for a fringe plan. Uh, Arizona just to be alive by Colorado uh, Vegas. Um, but uh, Minnesota and Arizona in the team sports, of course, lots of right now. Um, St. Louis just a point behind Arizona. So um, a lot of good races out there in the West Division. Just you know, unfortunately people sometimes uh, sleep on it just out, out west with the late games. But there's a uh, really good race with South Spot, Colorado, and Vegas. That's going to come down to the last ten games of the regular season. And they have a few uh, well, they have a few uh, matchups against each other still remaining. Um, uh, you know, Vegas, Colorado. But uh, but yeah, so you have, you have Vegas, Colorado, and uh, depending for the first and second spots. Um, the Minnesota's pretty comfortable in the third spot there. Seven points behind Vegas, seven points ahead of Arizona. So Minnesota, not, not obviously not locked in, but they, they look uh, pretty comfortable in that third spot. The Arizona, the St. Louis, they tight contest one point apart with four seeds. San Jose only four points behind, but um, they did not look good getting swept by the Ducks this past week. Um, for Vegas, um, Vegas and Colorado, they're playing a game on April 26th and April 28th um, in Vegas. Uh, and that'll, that'll close out their season series. But two more games um, to be the fifth to last game of the season and the sixth to last game of the season for Vegas and um, Colorado. Uh, that can decide the, the, the division. Those two games right there. Uh, they play two games in three days. And after that, Vegas will close the season with um, Arizona, Minnesota, St. Louis, and Jose. So a relatively easy schedule in that um, St. Louis and San Jose not been playing very well. Arizona and Minnesota, they're both the playoff teams. But, um, but uh, both are. Certainly, like in you know, arguably worse than uh, the Vegas. So Vegas with a relatively easy schedule to close out the season, but Colorado um, has just been so dominant. If we just look at their stats, so Phil Grubauer is a certainly a Vesna candidate with a two GAA um, and a nine point eight percentage. He got five shutouts already this season. Um, his five shutouts are uh, up there uh, across the league, uh, leading really tied with Mark Andre Fleury. So it's once again, it's at the Vegas and Colorado. And then, you know, assuming that's a division final, um, that would be a sensational division final, um, possibly the best one. Colorado and Vegas, because both of those teams are Stanley Cup um, contenders and really favorites. I, I would put them both in the top five. Um, Colorado at one. Um, but, uh, so, as I said, um, uh, Colorado, Vegas, Colorado and Vegas will play two in Vegas, 26 and 28. But until then, um, the yeah, Avalanche will make up two games against Los Angeles. They've got three straight in St. Louis. And then after that, they play uh, St. Louis, San Jose for four, or sorry, San Jose for three, and then Los Angeles for two. So both teams relatively easy schedule to finish up the year. So I really think it's going to come down to those two games, April 26th, April 28th. Hopefully, um, one or two of those possible can get the to the national television, all by game here in the States, and I hope they have a of course, in Canada. Um, and those are going to be must see TV. Um, fighting. For, for the top spot there. As both teams um, are also the top spot in the league. Colorado Vegas, one two in the league. Um, and after them, we go Carolina and Washington. Um, Carolina and Washington both with 62 points. Washington, a pair of uh, noon games that kick in, losing 6 3, winning 6 3. Um, 
competing for the LCS in season Boston over the road. So it's been impressive showing you know, back to back in games uh, on the road in the city. It's a task to walk to splitting that. I'm also trying to the game a little bit to get a screening of the Rangers. So the Rangers have been outstanding lately. The Rangers bring something to the Temple to test the Swiss League robbery. Uh, never dead, despite the fact that the Rangers are hurt. The Devils are one of the worst of the league. The Devils and Rangers are both lost. There was a lot of us. Chicago 
Dallas still in the race. Um, the national Dallas has three games in hand, so they do look good. Um, if, they, if they win out, if they can win the games, they will play um, real big over Nashville's uh, spot. But uh, Nashville, Chicago, Dallas, they're all within four points of each other. Um, chasing that final spot. And I really think Carolina or Florida are going to be a beat of one. They're, all, they're good teams, but they're, they haven't been like a beat of one. I think those teams are beat um, As for Dallas, they're rolling now, but Dallas stars are climbing, right? The Dallas stars 16 2 in their last 10 um, to get winning streak. And, and, you know, remember, they started the season very late after they COVID issues just the first week. So they played fewer games than everyone else in the league, or at least tied for it. Um, so uh, for Chicago, they're behind Chicago and Nashville. They're three points behind, they're two points behind. Um, but they have, they have games at the end, and their next four games are against the Detroit Red Wings. You know, the, I would keep an eye on the Dallas Stars. They can pull the Rangers. The Rangers just keep beating bad teams four straight games, blew them out, New Jersey Devils. They get the Dallas Stars play two at the American Airlines Center in Dallas and two at uh, the Little Caesars Arena in Detroit. If in those four games, they can get seven points. That's got to be the barometer. I mean, they do have some work to do, but they can do it. They, have, they can get seven points in those games. And after that, they, you know, they got some tough, they got some tough games. So if they, if they split this series of Red Wings, I really think that's it. Because after that, they face, they face uh, Carolina, um, they still have Serena up against Tampa, one up against Florida, um, but then they do have three against Chicago and Nashville. So the, the Dallas Stars face really good with their hands this season. Um, after, like, they, they've been in no higher than fifth place, but they've been in sixth or seventh place all year. Um, Columbus also, Columbus is not been doing great. They're out of it. So um, we just look at the that they're actually out of it. Um, Columbus, Detroit, Anaheim, Los Angeles. San Jose and uh, Buffalo, New Jersey, Florida. So those are the teams that I think really have zero shot to make them. They're just they're so far behind with not things to go down play well. They have injuries, they have uh, the multiple cases. Every other team um, I think has a shot. Of course now um, we can move on to I think the standard division, just you know the division everybody hates to love and loves to hate. Um, East Coast and North Division. All the Canadian teams is so much fun with this division. I believe speaking of Leafs have not never been able to pull away. Uh, the Jets still flung in at four points of them, especially with the Leafs losing last night to Vancouver in a game they absolutely should have won. They didn't need it because they're probably so good, but they really should have won that game last night. So, um, Winnipeg in second place, 57 points, Edmonton at 54, Montreal at 47, Calgary 41, and Vancouver 37, Ottawa 34. I am very close to not quite there on eliminating Calgary. Calgary is the next team to be quote unquote eliminated on the my mind. Vancouver, Ottawa, you know, close out. But uh, this is another good race because Winnipeg, they, Winnipeg and Toronto would obviously be, that would be an amazing race if they had to catch them on the elite. But um, they still play, so they're in the next race with the very team. So um, if you look at the Jets' Leafs uh, schedule all coming, um, where the Jets' schedule all coming, they've been Leafs multiple times in the first year. Um, you know, they, they last played on Sunday, or sorry, on Saturday. Um, uh, this Saturday is the second game today, and they don't, they don't play for two more days. They have five days to prepare for the two biggest games of their season at home with the Toronto Maple Leafs. Maple Leafs are still in the place. Um, if they're, and if the Jets can sweep that, then that is a tied top of the division with seven teams to go. And just once again, the Leafs are so fun to see these, these races. The team are playing any series, two, three, three, four games together at the end of the year. Um, fighting for divisional supremacy. So the Jets are going, those two games will be two games to that, two games to others. Um, and then they go to play in a half on the road. Ottawa, Calgary, Ottawa, Vancouver, Vancouver. And then the last game of the season, Toronto versus Winnipeg. So still six points to take. Um, so both teams, it's, it, it's, uh, the division is in their hands. The Jets went out somehow, or even, you know, win pretty much all their games, including a sweep of the Leafs. They will win the division. Um, the Oilers, I don't think, have a shot to win the division. Uh, they're just they're too far behind. Uh, they're not going to get to these seven points. Um, look at the games they're reading. Um, but I do think that the Leafs have a shot at the two spot. I mean, they, uh, I, it's tough, but I think the Leafs are at the two Oilers. The Oilers could find a good two spot. Um, their main schedule, they, they, I think, we will live there. They all make two birds with two birds. They more get to the Oilers. They will play the Leafs, which is quite tough. Um, but they do have the games for the these next two games, the two games against the Chiefs, the first two games, the 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 two
also want to mention uh, that the you know, uh, that's great. Uh, that they take on three weeks to do this. This is the photo that we have. We have to do this. It's a great picture. It's a great picture. It must be a COVID. It has to do with the mental anguish of any of the COVID. Until then, see you next time. I'm Jeremy Stewart.